if you are like me and you keep talking to AI and you try to fix your project and it keeps messing other parts and then you try to fix other parts of your project and then it messes what it was working before, if you feel that your AI coder like global doesn't remember what you were discussing and it keeps, you know, messing stuff, it happens to me as well. So this video, I will show you a solution where I will help you build a memory for your project so you don't have to run into that. If you stay until the end of this video, I will show you how I did to work around that and it will give you a prompt that you can copy paste and just build your own memory and just probably, you know, save a lot of credits in the process. And this is completely free. It will take you like a minute to do. Anyone can do it. You don't need to know code. You don't need to know anything specific. You just need to know how to copy paste from one place to the other. That's it. That's the only thing it takes. Just copy paste into another place. And it happens to me a lot over the past, I think, few weeks, because overnight and, and during my weekends, I try to build projects. I'm building this platform called Booktail, which is basically a combination between Vinted, Patreon, and Goodreads. Uh, it's free. It's a completely free platform, but it combines a very, it's, it's huge, right? I'm doing this all only with Lovable. And what happens is when you start building these functions, because you have the book clubs, then, then you have the, the bookstore where you have secondhand books and you build all these functions and things break because you ask, you prompt AI to do something and AI will just break something else or it will change the UX or it will change the UI, right? And we don't want this to happen. And the reason why this is happening with AI is because they don't have context. You know, when you probably heard this prompt engineering and now there is context engineering. The Most of the AI systems that we operate, they don't have too much context. So after a while, it will just completely forget what you was discussed. And this happens with, with the with the builders like Lovable and others. How I came to this conclusion. So it, I was, I'm using Lovable to build Bookday. Bookday is a huge platform and it has too many moving parts. It has connections with API, with Stripe. It has connection with API, with two uh, shipping label creators it has connection with api with uh, google authentication you know it's huge and also has google books uh, api has also other apis as well in, in the back end and every time i was asking something to the ai i would say okay i'm going to implement this but it's like oh, oh. again i always use chat mode so I, I review everything before it posts that's a very important thing and we just try to break something else and i say hey do you remember we have this done before oh i'm sorry check the files and it was it was an ongoing conversation so at some point i go and ask the ai um hey, do you know that you're an AI and you don't have a brain? And the AI replies to me, I can only see conversation history that's available in our current session, but I don't retain information between different conversations or sessions. This makes it really difficult to maintain context about the complex architecture of Bookter that been, uh, we have been building together for weeks. So it basically recognizes the problem itself. Because I, I say, hey, let, let me build something. Um, so what I asked AI is, just, okay, you understand your context, you are an AI, like how we can together build a memory for you. And the, the proposal was to create a memory system uh, that it has a memory documentation. Again, this will not affect UX, UI, will not change any function. It's just text. It will create an Apple review, it will create an architecture file, it will create a development notes file, and it will create a troubleshooting uh, file, which is very important as well, because troubleshooting is just a key part of what we're doing. It's the logs of what worked and what that didn't work. So I say, okay, go and implement the memory system. It does it perfectly fine. And then I say, okay, this is a problem. When, I, when I'm going to run the memory system, I want you to remember what to do. So I said, create a prompt, a soft prompt inside the memory system where you can actually instruct yourself to run this process, right? And the process I want the AI to run is like, I give you a command. I, I'm going to use a phrase that is called look in memory MD, which is like, that's it. So I'm going to post my prompt, my normal prompt, my normal instruction, and I will say before that, check uh, memory MD. When it goes and check memory MD, it will be a self prompt inside that will instruct itself just to do a check. And the check will be basically, okay, review that this, this request is not conflicting with anything else. Review that it's not changing anything, we agree. Review all the files, all the edge functions, review all the memory files that we add. And then after you do that, you create a proposal to me. And in the proposal to me, if you accept, accept it, you will also instruct yourself to update the memory after it's done. So we keep this loop where everything is com completely updated. So I say again, it, it creates this uh, self-instruction sy system within memory, will add all the, the functions. So it will add the instructions, it will add the memory update process and the context gathering protocol, which is for me the most important one, because when we are talking about prompt engineering versus context engineering, one of the things I discovered in the past months creating applications is that most of my credits are wasted on fixing stuff that was working before. 
And this is not because the platforms are bad. This is because how AI models work in general. Um, I don't think this is the same as a rag, um, but it does create a contextual memory within a project, which is just a line of code. Let me show you. It's super simple. I will not show you exactly what is inside. I will just show you the tree. So we create these docs. And we create four fives, architecture, development nodes, memory, storage shoot. Again, I'm going to give you the prompt so you can actually do this yourself. Um, you just copy paste, as simple as that. And because YouTube will not allow me to put all the prompts, it also includes some instructions. I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post a link to my newsletter where I can actually post. So you, in the newsletter, you will see copy from here to here. Just copy that into your project. Please copy it in chat mode. Don't copy this directly without turning this chat thingy mode here because otherwise it will create a mess because it will go, just go and do it. So what you want to do is just to put this prompt, it will take your project, it will analyze it, it will give you a proposal of the memory. If you're happy with the memory, you say implement. If you're not happy, you keep it update, you do it once, and then it will keep running on a memory basis. So I, I asked that. And then to share with you guys, I, I asked the AI to create a, like a general prompt that anyone can use. I say, okay, now, now that we have established how we're gonna build on memory, just create me a template that anyone can use uh, for their own project, make it general. So Whenever you paste it in project, it will self, in theory, update with your your information, which I think is really cool, um, because in this way, you kind of if if you are if you are if you are instructing your AI to just look memory, it's just just a phrase. My phrase is look in memory MD. That's it, and it will self run everything uh, by itself. Um, again, I hope this is useful. Uh, I think I was going somewhere else, but I don't remember. This is the second time I filmed this video because the first time um, I rushed it because I don't have too much time and forgot to turn the mic on and here I am. So I hope this works. This is a way we can actually, in a very simple way, build context memory for our global projects. You can use the same for, for Paul.new, other, you know, you, maybe this work for Cursor as well. I know you have to try it out and let me know. I think it's quite simple. Again, this will not change functions. It will not change your UX, UI. It will not break anything at all. It's just great lines of text. That's it. And the only thing you have to consider that I put also in the notes in my newsletter is that, and the newsletter is free. All of this is free, by the way. Um, you don't have to do anything. Just go, it's, it's open. Um, these might require more tokens or might consume credits faster. Why? Because you're now bring in every time you prompt, it will just look into more context. So you can you can decide to invoke this when you want. You can if it's a small change, you don't have to. But if it's a big change, you can you know you can you can ask to to change the memory. And and the reason why it will take more more credits, most likely is because tokens in because it has more instructions and tokens out because it has to update more. So that's it. I hope this is useful. I saw this this Reddit post from someone that I was struggling with this, and I said I thought it was a a good idea just to make a video instead of trying to explain. Um, so I decided to do a video. And it's also very therapeutic for me. Every time I'm stressed, I try to either create something or, you know, um, try to help someone with what I know. And this is what I know. And it's working for me in a, you know, very rudimentary way. I had to do a few versions of it. So you might have to tweak the files. They are text files. This is not code. Literally, they are notes uh, the AI will read. There is no any link called the coding language this is plain english you can do it in spanish if you want i never tried a lot in spanish i need to do that anyway hope it's helpful and i see you in the next videos bye